Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over some of the updates. All 32 of the stocking stuffers, including the Masters, and some other stuff that we do need to know that's coming up, guys. It's going to be a big week of Madden. Fun day today in terms of reveals as well. But before we get into the video, guys, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, comment down below and let me know what's your favorite stocking stuffer of the day that we are, they are going to reveal, right? Before we get into the video also, you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, guys. I do have a code and link down below for you that will get you guys up to a free 100 bucks to go ahead and play Daily Fantasy, which pretty much just means a lot of free a lot of free NFL Daily Fantasy lineups. Just for, just, just for being there, just for using my code, guys. Make sure to take advantage. But let's get into the update. So, guys, this is some old stuff right here. So, as you guys do know, uh, Zero Trust started on the 10th. But the most important thing is Team of the Week will not come back to January 11th. Wildcard Wednesday will not come back to the 12th. LTDs will not come back to the 13th. And Reduxes will be 12-17 of this month. So that's three days from now. But the other three things, guys, will not come back. I just want to keep reiterating this so people that don't watch every video won't be confused wondering where the weekly content is or freaking out about, like, you know, is it not, is it not working or sitting up and waiting for it. It just won't be here for this month. So just keep that in mind. Some series redux again. Uh, they did add Anthony Barr, Brandon Marshall, JC Horn, and T.Y. Hilton to that list. So just keep that in mind as well. Uh, the next release, the next most uh, zero chill release, right, part two, is going to be Frozen LTDs challenges uh mission sets and house rules that does come the 17th which is friday which is also the reduxes as you guys saw before all right so let's get into the players so man, remember you can pause this you can do whatever you guys want at any point here you can screenshot them i'm gonna go through these a little fast because there are 32 of them but i'll give you guys like my top like my my biggest notes here so alec ogletree good hit power decent speed decent excel decent block shed not bad in a bear steam team marcus bailey no uh power move no finesse move no block shed not that great speed and, and kind of compared to everything else right like he had he had 89 speed 94 excel but he had all his other stats like he, he's there that's only decent speed but he has all the other stats this guy gets nothing that's gonna be an l malik dowell can get 90 block shed can get 90 power move 90 tackle 90 strength 90 excel 85 speed pretty good on a brown team especially even better Corey peters will get the block shed power move and speed and excel decent on a cardinal steam team as well matt filer power guard he will get 87 fin uh, finesse run block finesse and 88 run path block finesse which means he won't get the 90 on those everything else is a 90 not bad especially if you get like a free option at some point william golston will not get the block shed only gets the power move decent speed decent excel not that great honestly not crazy speed not crazy excel not good block shed Juan Thornhill. And you see, this card's not bad because he will get 90 zone and he'll get 93 speed. So if you put him on a Chiefs team team and you just want a speedy zone corner, uh, zone safety, you can go ahead and take him. He'll have decent man, decent hit power. Uh, Muhammad, right end for the Colts. 92 power move, 85 speed, 92 excel, 88 block shot. If you can get his block shot up to a 90 with a strat card and a power up, then he's pretty good. Otherwise, not exactly. Dalton Schultz. I can see this guy being a tight end 1, 2, or 3 on a Cowboys team team for quite a while. He gets 88 speed, right? So he'll be 89 speed powered up. He'll get all 90 catching. 86 short running, 80 medium rate running means he will make some cuts on some routes that are better than most, right? And 86 run blocking. So he'll be a pretty good run blocker as well. You can find his way onto a lot of teams, even as a backup or a second or third guy, right? Christian Wilkins only gets block shed, no power move, no finesse move. Strength's decent, excels bad, speed's bad. Not a good card. Steven Nelson. Steven Nelson. He gets 92 speed, 93 excel. 90 zone, 91 play rack, right? 90 press. All he doesn't get is the man. So if you if you have him like as a nickel corner or like some kind of you know slot nickel on a Eagles team team, he's pretty good, pretty fast. Chris Lindstrom, another power guard. He gets no finesse stats here, so just straight power. So again, gonna be similar to the Matt Wy uh, Filer, nothing really different there. Marcel Harris, out to linebacker, gets no coverage. Right, we're not no coverage. He gets no block shed, no pass rushing, no strength. Not great play rec. Literally, all he'll be good for is 93 speed, 97 excel. He would be a good user middle linebacker, and that's about it. James Bradbury, way too slow, only 90 speed. Now, he does get everything pretty much threshold besides zone 89. If you can get his zone to a 90 with a strat card, then I would say he's decent on a giant steam team, and that's it. Andrew Wingard, actually one of the best players of this drop. He gets 94 speed, 97 excel at safety with 95 hit power, 90 zone, 90 pursuit, 90 tackle. Insane card, guys. On any team, he may have a role, right? Even at linebacker, right? Like, this card's crazy. He hits like a truck. He runs like a gazelle. I'd love to see his height and everything else as well, but he's really, really good. The only thing, guys, if you put him on a Jaguar steam team, he will get like a, what is that, 94 speed, 
plus four for everything with the strat card and everything else like you're looking at around 98 speed safety this card would be absolutely insane on the jaguars team team greg van roten another power guard only thing he doesn't get is pass block finesse but better than most because he only gets only when he's missing his pass block finesse he still gets the run block finesse really really good guard from the jets tracy walker safety again for a for a Lions team, he's not horrible. He will get a 94 speed, 96 excel with 89 hit power, 88 zone. Um, not the greatest card. I wouldn't see him on anything else but a Lions team team. Royce Newman, similar to all the other guards we're getting, but his run block power is actually really bad. So his pass block power, he cannot do power running at all. Really, really low, though. Not even like decently low. Uh, Shaq Thompson, card's kind of garbage. Can't, can't pass rush, can't block shed that well. Um, not crazy speed either. Not great strength. I would not rock with this card, except maybe a Panthers steam team. And even then, I don't really know where his use would really be found. Unless Panthers are lacking in a lot of those spots in linebacking. Uh, Isaiah Wynn. Similar to all the other guys that we've got in his lineman. Bad finesse. Again, we'll knock at 90 there. They're all really the same lineman here. There's really not much of a change. I thought it maybe strength. Uh, next, we have Brandon Parker. Right tackle for the Raiders. He actually gets everything but power now, right? So again, same same thing. All these linemen are really the same. It's a matter if you do power running or if you do zone running. Brian Allen, center for the Rams. He does get just about everything again besides the finesse for the pass block finesse, which actually is fine. I can I'll, I'll deal without that one. I rather the run block finesse. Really really good center. I'd say right in line with the other guy that only missed out on one. Pretty good. Bradley Bozeman gets everything but the finesse again um, i don't know why they keep doing this like this. it's like almost like a pattern here still pretty good antonio gibson gets 94 speed 94 excel powered up with 90 change of direction 93 break tackle with 80 and 80 for trucking and catching really really good halfback not bad especially on a washington football team theme team he was pretty fast caesar ruiz same thing does not get the finesse actually doesn't get one of the powers as well for 90 i'd say he's one of the worst guards of the uh, or one of the worst linemen in the uh Stock and stuff for promo. Benson Maioa, outside linebacker, can really good finesse move, pretty good speed, decent block shit. I'd say on a Seahawks team, team would be really, really good or at least usable. Eric Ebron, pretty trash, honestly, because like Dalton Schultz got the run blocking and that's set him over. This guy cannot run block, so pretty much he, he's going to be used primarily as a receiving tight end. And as a receiving tight end, I'd rather take Dalton Schultz, who almost has identical stats, pretty much identical stats, but also gets the 86, 87 run block and powered up. Because that means that I can also call run plays with him there and not feel like he's a liability. Ebron will be. Christian Kirksey, kind of garbage. 90 hit power, low block shed, low strength, no zone, not great speed. TR Tart, Tierry Tart, TR Tart, however you say it. 77 speed, 87 Excel. Gets the block shed, doesn't get the power move. Not that great. Wyatt Davis, right guard. Now he will get everything 90. This makes him one of the best linemen actually of the bunch. Everything powered up will be above 90 with high strength as well. Really, really good. JC Jackson is going to be one of the masters. JC Jackson, 93 speed, 95 excel, 8 minute agility, 88 jumping, and all threshold coverage guy. All threshold coverage, plus 94 speed, 96 excel, powered up. Makes him great. CD Lamb. What I don't get is this is like his fourth or fifth card, and he still does not have all 90 base route running. I don't understand why. Now, remember, powered up, he will get it anyway, so it's fine. But still pretty good. 95 speed CD, all route running, all catching. going to make a lot of Cowboys fans happy. Pretty, pretty good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel with that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check out Underdog, the link and Kobe down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.